In this video, we'll pause, modify, and resume a 3D print using Clipper. Previously, using my other non-Clipper-based 3D printers, I was able to go into Cura and uh, at a particular level, either a height or a level count, um, I was able to use the feature in Cura uh, where, and here you can see it, where I select post-processing, modify G-code, If I scroll down a little bit, I can select pause at height. Um, you can see you can uh, select a height by measurement, but in this case, I've decided uh, to uh, base it on a layer height. And in the model that I expect to print, I want it to stop at layer 17, pause. So I can go in, and in this case, I'm going to add a small uh, nut uh, for a bolt inside this 3D print and then tell it to resume. Uh, whenever I do that, you can see here at the bottom um, uh, where I've got the little red dot that appears right next to print with Octoprint. And uh, that just lets me know that I have this uh, processing step or macro included in this print. And once you've done that, of course, uh, prepare and preview, and then send it off to your printer. So if you're running Clipper and you choose to print uh, with that macro configured in Cura, uh, Cura is going to install an M0 at that height in the middle of the print. The problem is uh, Clipper does not understand M0. And as soon as you do that, Clipper will error out. And you can see that right here. On the Clipper console, it's telling us unknown command, M0, and well, that's the end of that. So here in the Marlin documentation, we can see M0 um, defined as a pause after the last movement, and it waits for the user to continue. Um, there used to be an M1. It's been depreciated. Everyone uses M0 now. So when I checked online how to fix this, there were all sorts of codes, macros. Um, I think I even saw some things written in Python, but it's actually quite easy. Go into the printer CFG file and then scroll down, well, wherever you want to put it. Um, I'm going to show you where I put it. Um, you don't have to put it in exactly the same place. Um, you can organize this file pretty much any way you want to. And here I'll show you exactly what I entered. So Clipper does have a pause and resume, but you need to enable it. And it's simply square bracket, pause underscore resume, ending square bracket, just as you see here. That turns on the capability to pause and resume. But then we want it to understand the G-code M0. So here in square brackets, G-code macro um, space M0, and then uh, G-code colon pause. And basically what this means now is every time Clipper encounters an M0, it'll execute the pause of the pause and resume that Clipper actually knows and understands. So you want to save and restart Clipper once that's complete. So this time, if we print, including that macro in Cura, Clipper should see the M0 in the G-code. Um, it will then recognize that M0 means it needs to pause, and so it'll pause, and it'll stay paused until we tell it to resume. And we'll see that happen here. So to pause, the printer goes to home, and it simply waits. So in this case, as I mentioned earlier, I do want to insert a nut in the print. However, in this print, I left supports on. So right here, I'm just pulling the support out. I don't need it. Uh, there will be a nut, which I am about to insert. Once you've inserted an object, changed filament for a different color, whatever the case may be, uh, we have to tell the printer to resume. So here, I've gone back to my fluid interface, and at the command line, 
in the console, I simply type resume and hit enter and Clipper will move the print head to the correct height to the correct location and resume the print. It only takes a few seconds to finish this print. Uh, I believe it's two layers I'm adding. Again, this is really just for an example. And so let's take a look. So I just 3D printed over a nut that's made out of titanium. Um, in addition, I didn't clean the print head before I did this print. And so this isn't exactly going to be the best quality here, but I think if I can get this into focus, you'll get the picture. Um, the nut is embedded inside the plastic. Um, you can take a look uh, from the other side as well. Um, this was really more of a demonstration. And uh, when I get to what I expect to be the finished piece, I'm going to make sure the quality is quite a bit better than this. And uh, but still, you know, you can use this for changing filament, uh, inserting lead or steel shot in the bottom of a print to weigh it down. In this case, embedding a nut, really whatever you can think of. Um, it's super useful. Uh, pausing is a great feature. If you found this video useful, please click subscribe and stay tuned for some additional videos that will be coming up in the next couple of weeks and months.